Adobe FrameMaker Feature Spotlight, Intelligent Single Sourcing of Content. Whether working in a single document or across multiple related projects, technical communicators regularly need to keep track of, reference, and reuse the content in their projects. FrameMaker provides a wide range of options to do just that, starting with FrameMaker's book structure. Book files manage related FrameMaker documents, keeping track of sophisticated numbering schemes to produce automatically updated tables of contents, and correctly maintain complex number references across entire projects. FrameMaker files can simultaneously exist in more than one book, and books can even contain other books. FrameMaker documents can also reuse entire embedded FrameMaker files or flows. Called text insets, these allow you to update content from a single source of authority without having to track down and update everywhere you've repurposed it. I'll double-click on this text inset to bring up the text inset properties, which allow me to select the open source option. Making a quick edit to the document, I can now save this file, and all places where I've inset this text can be updated automatically. For instances where a reference to content will suffice, FrameMaker's cross-references direct your reader to the exact location of things like paragraph styles, elements, or markers. Here, I've double-clicked on an existing cross-reference in my document to bring up the cross-reference panel. Along with a list of the heading two paragraphs currently available for referencing in this document, FrameMaker's cross-reference panel lets me choose an appropriate cross-reference format, which can help with formatting and create consistency across my references while still keeping the heading and its location up to date. Cross-references are also handy because they provide working hyperlinks to the referenced content in almost all electronic output formats. Strong variable support helps you stay consistent with phrasing and heavily formatted content. Here, I'll place a product name that's likely to change before release. And up here, I'll place a variable that helps me conform with corporate branding standards. Variables can also simplify management of your headers and footers for print and PDF output. Note how the headings in this document are automatically derived from the section headings placed within. You can also use conditional text in FrameMaker to maintain multiple versions of content in a single project. For more on that, see our related video on next generation HTML5 layouts. For a personalized demo or questions, please write to us at techcom at adobe.com.